Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is saying that humans are not our problem. So past this section here, you are going to see that this part here is not going to talk about humans. Let me highlight it. Maybe green, okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, so humans are not our problem. Humans are not our problem so your mother is not your problem your father is not your problem your co-worker your boss your enemy down the street is not your problem so after this this is going to speak about let me just say it but against principalities demon against powers demon against the rulers of the darkness of this world demons against spiritual wickedness in high places demons <laughs> so in this red here this is saying humans are not our problem so in this section in the green here it is talking about demons. I believe I told you all about the email that I was sent. In that email, a woman told me that I should not speak about demons because demons are not our problem. And I believe I made videos about some of the problems or attacks that I receive from demons. And if I remember correctly, this woman was saying, if you are receiving so many attacks from demons, something you are doing is not right. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, so this is present tense for we wrestle not wrestled but wrestle meaning that it is constantly going to happen my lord so i was told that i am not doing something right because i received demonic attacks Let me say this, when you begin to follow the rules and regulations of God, you are going to receive demonic attacks. There is this woman that I contact every so often. So many bad things happens to this person. It is crazy very crazy when you begin to follow God follow his rules and regulations demons are going to attack so if demons are not attacking you that is a problem when I was in sin I really did not have many demonic dreams or bad dreams I really did not go through <laughs> as much as I go through now now let me say this when you sin you are cursed so bad things was happening to me because I was reaping what I have sown 
So when you do evil, more evil is going to come back to you. Now that I serve God, I receive What I receive now is different from what I was receiving back when I was in sin. If that makes any sense to you. Like, things are really obvious that demons are attacking. Really obvious. When you are in sin, yes, demons may attack, but they are not really going to waste time on you because you are already in their power. But if you are serving God and getting others to serve God, you are a threat to them. Let me break this down. What if I threw a brick? <laughs> what if I threw a brick at your home's window. Someone is going to come out the house, right? Someone is going to confront me, right? Yes. When you are helping people with God, when you are serving God, when you are effective at it, it is the same thing as coming against the kingdom of hell. It is like you are throwing a brick or many bricks at the residence of the kingdom of hell, if that makes any sense to you. So someone is going to confront you. If you are not throwing any bricks, if you are not doing any harm to the kingdom of hell, why in the world would a demon mess with you much? <laughs> Think about that. Why would a demon mess with you much? Now, there are some cases where God allows demons to really mess with you while you are in sin so that you can turn your life to God. But in my life and other people's life as well, I did not receive many demonic attacks. Everything turned up or cranked up when I gave my life to God. Everything started to go crazy. So that person or people that believe that you are not supposed to receive demonic attacks, no. If you are effective in God, if you are doing things for God and serving God, hey, someone is going to confront you, some demons. So if you are not receiving demonic attacks, chances are you are lukewarm, or you are in sin. You are lukewarm, or you are in sin. For we wrestle, that is present tense. So if Paul was going through demonic attacks, not too many people are greater than the Apostle Paul. He pretty much wrote most of the New Testament. So if he had problems with demons, and you say that you should not have problems with demons, something is telling me you are not all the way right with God. Yes, you may know how to teach. Yes, you may know how to pray, but your life is not lining up with what the Bible is saying. So you are still in sin. So how can you tell me that or anyone else that they are wrong? You have to fix yourself first before you can fix anyone else because if you are still in sin, your perception is going to be off, way off. 
So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.